I love using coffee and food. I mean, we love drinking coffee, but coffee and food works brilliantly. And obviously desserts, things like panna cottas or you know, creme brulees, or I make a beautiful little friand with raisins soaked in coffee, all seem very obvious. But what I'm gonna show you is a really quick and easy chocolate mousse. And I'm gonna turn it into something a little bit fancy, but for example, you can make this and sit on the couch on a Friday night with a big spoon and eat it with your loved one, and it is just, Gorgeous. So pick a great chocolate. This one is a Calibo chocolate, bitter, which means it's dark, but you can use any chocolate you want except white chocolate. This recipe won't work with white chocolate because it's very sweet and not very stable. So chocolate, we've made a coffee essence using the everyday blend, and that is simply two shots of espresso coffee and an equal quantity of sugar into a small pan and just reduce it until it becomes slightly viscous. And then when it cools down, it becomes syrupy. And I did something cheeky as I made it and dipped my finger in. And it sends little shivers and a little bit of lightning into your soul, I think. And flavors that work well with coffee include star anise. And so I'm gonna put a pinch of star anise in this chocolate mousse. So you're gonna have chocolate, espresso, and star anise. So let's just put it together. Got 150 grams of chocolate melted. You can do that over a double boiler, which means a saucepan that you put a little water in, bring it to the boil, pop the bowl on top and let it melt. Or you can put it in a microwave and melt it for about two minutes. Double the amount of cream, a little olive oil. So let's start. So in with the coffee essence first. And I'm gonna be mm, two, three. It's all guesswork around here. Pinch of the star anise little pinch of flake salt. And then this sounds weird, but an oil. I like a good olive oil. You can use hazelnut oil or a macadamia nut oil works really well. And you put in about two tablespoons full of oil. And this helps make a nice velvety, soft kind of chocolate ganache almost, soft mixture that you can fold the cream into. So in goes the oil, and then you just give that a mix until everything comes together. So it's nice, soft, shiny, and luscious. And then all you gotta do is fold the cream in. And you can do this in chunks or batches, but to be honest, it's such a small amount, I tend to just put all the cream in. And a flexible spatula is good. Not good for the kids, because they can't lick the bowl afterwards, but it gets every little bit of cream out of the bowl that you've just whisked, so. And then all we do just fold all that together. Can you see that? And to be honest, in my house, it doesn't often get past that stage before it becomes a full blown dessert. Because to be honest, even with that little kind of marbled ripple through, mm, it's really delicious. So a couple of spoons, couch, you ready? No, no, we've got a bit more to do. So all I'm gonna do now is just fold it together. And I'm using that kind of start at nine, finish at nine o'clock movement with the spatula just to incorporate all of the cream so it's a nice kind of soft pillowy mousse so that's the chocolate mousse done and great on its own but I'm going to make some oranges in a beautiful caramel sauce to go with this So look at that, beautiful, nice raw sugar and dark caramel. And it's just starting to reduce back down after I've hit it with a bit of orange juice. And then what we're gonna do is pop those charred oranges back into the caramel, flick the gas off and baste them a little so they sit in that delicious caramel. But just as a final kicker and a ode to our coffee syrup, which is gorgeous, I'm just gonna put a little bit into the caramel just to reinforce those coffee notes and just a pinch more of that star anise powder and that is not only looking delicious but smelling fantastic so let's play it up yum looks really good so we got everything ready for the dessert and remember you can just make individual 
components of these if you don't want to make the whole lot. So bowl of chocolate mousse to share, delicious, or put them in little cups and crush some hazelnuts over the top. Or you can just serve those oranges with ice cream, really delicious. And these little sponges serve with just uh, a heavy cream or whipped cream, absolutely delicious. So let's put this together. The way we do this is just release these microwave sponges from the edge. And what I find, to be honest, is I snip right the way down the side. And if they're properly cooled, then they tip out. And it's not about, this form is not about trying to keep it as a cup shape, but you'll see it's about just tearing them into little chunks. But they do look rather nice, don't they? Just tease that apart. Baste our oranges and put a couple in. Picking the chari ones because they're gonna taste beautiful and they work really well with coffee. Next in, big spoonful of the mousse. You can always go back for seconds. And then what we do is just tear that sponge and just put it in a couple of spots on the dish that you think works. A little sprinkle of that star anise powder. And that, as a coffee dessert, individually as little elements or all together a dessert is a winner. And you know the proof is always in the pudding.